Hello, this is Ian from Zima Agency, and today we will walk through a tutorial for our newest plugin, an advanced multi-file uploader. So there are two ways of implementing this plugin. The first one is via an upload area, and the second via model. We select model, then we have two options uh, to manage this plugin. The first one is uh, that we, Zima, manage your files. It's the easiest way to set up this plugin. And the other option is that you set up your own S3 bucket on AWS. Let's go with the first option. Let's go to the Zima agency website, go to storage, and let's get started for free. We'll have to sign up to the platform. Okay, so we are in, we can see that we have the uh, Zima key and we have a free plan. And we have uh, 10 gigabytes included on this free plan, plus one gigabyte for upload and download. Let's copy the Zima key and let's paste it into the plugin. Then we can enable and disable the different uh, upload sources. We can add uh, different languages. We can apply uh, filters and select a theme. Let's add a, a button that will allow us to open the model. Okay, so here we can see all the different uh, upload sources that we have. Now, let's see how we can save uh, the uploaded files. Uh, well, we, we will select this, this event and let's fill different fields. Okay, so we have everything ready. Let's drag some files here and let's upload them. Okay, so that's it. Now we're going to check that uh, we have the three files uploaded. Let's go to data, files, and here we can see them. We have all the fields uh, successfully filled with the file URL. Okay, so now we're going to check how to upload files to our own AWS S3 bucket we will have to fill these three fields. So first of all, let's create a new bucket on AWS. Let's put a name. Let's disable the block and then let's create the bucket. Now we have to change uh, the bucket policy. So uh, please paste uh, this configuration and uh, replace the page holder. Okay, so now we have to create a Transaudit account. Transaudit is a service that allows uh, to upload files to S3 bucket. You don't need any credit cards. And it's uh, used for uh, top tier companies. Let's sign up, create an app. And let's start by creating a template. Um, if you check the wizard, you will see uh, other configurations that allow you to upload files to Azure or uh, cloud storage, but we will use uh, uh, the template uh, for uploading to S3 bucket. Here we have the configuration of the template. And now let's replace some of the values. First, the bucket name. then the AWS uh, region, and finally the key and the secret. Um, this is just for uh, demo purposes, so please don't create uh, the keys from the root user. Okay, so now let's copy the ID of this template and uh, paste it into the plugin. And now let's copy the credentials of the transloaded account. Auth key and auth secret. Okay, so that's, that's it. Uh, let's make a test. Let's upload uh, three files. Okay, everything is, is ready. 
uh, now let's check inside transflow grid uh, in assemblies uh, we can see that uh, like it has been uh, successful and then we can go to the s3 bucket we see here uh, three folders created and inside each of the folder we have the file let's also check inside the uh, apb data we have uh, these three new files with the URL from our uh, S3 bucket.